Let's talk about how to make a bar plot using the pivot charts functionality in Excel. So you can see I have my data here and I want to build a bar plot where I find out how many of my employees travel rarely, travel frequently, or don't travel at all. So I'm going to click anywhere in my data here. I'm going to come up to insert. In the charts group I'm going to select pivot chart and I'm just going to select OK because I wanted to open this in a new worksheet. So here we are. Now business travel is what is providing my category so I'm going to take it drag it down and drop it into my categories I'm going to use employee count for my values because all I'm doing is counting how many there are and I'm not too worried about what the actual data itself is I'm just counting how many there are for each category so I come down drop that into values and you can see because this is numeric it defaults to taking the sum which is not what I want so I'm going to use the drop down go to value field settings select count okay and now you can see I have a count of how many of my employees fall into each of these three categories and I have a nice looking chart here I want to get rid of these buttons here because they don't really add to my uh, the value of this later if I want to put it into a PowerPoint presentation or something so I'm just going to select hide all field buttons on chart that gets rid of those and now I can kind of come up to design and add chart elements to add the axis titles which is always a good idea and if I want it, I can also add a data table to show what the actual values are for anybody who might be interested. Although for a chart like this, rarely necessary. And that's all there is to it. If you like what you see, by all means, click the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. And until next time, happy learning.